Let's talk about adding on an open number line. This is one of the strategies that our students learn about ways that they can visually represent adding. So let's take a look at this one. We have 26 plus 37. On an open number line, our students have come to understand that with our lines pointing in both directions, we know it carries on from before where we start at and after. So we can create our own type of number line to represent this. So I'm going to start at 26 on my number line. I know that when I'm adding, I'm going to move down the number line and my numbers are going to get greater. And I've also understand from the previous work that I've done that I can take single jumps at a time. I could technically make 37 individual jumps to make my way. Or now that I understand place value and I understand skip counting, I can skip along this line to make it faster. So when we work with place value, we learn how, what are ways that we can represent 37. We use manipulatives to show that 37 is made of three tens and seven ones. And we can count out using physical manipulatives like these. We can also use pictorially drawings of our place value understanding. 37 is three tens and seven ones. Once students have this representation and understanding, they also may think of 37 um, in numbers, breaking it apart as 30 and 7. How does all of this help me? It helps me make quicker jumps to get to my final answer. So, in thinking of 37, one of the strategies we use is doing our skip jumping. Um, some people start out with skip jumping first. Some kids prefer that. They know they have these tens and they know how to count by tens. So let's do those tens first. We might count 26, 36, 46, 56. That would be my three tens. Now what do I have left? I have seven ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Okay? and get our seven ones there. Another student might say, I know that 26 is really close to 30, and 30 is easy to count by, so I wonder if I can get to what we call a friendly number. 30 is that would be that friendly number. So instead of jumping by 10 to start with, I'm gonna jump by ones. So I'm gonna jump by ones until I get to 30. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. How many jumps did it take to get to 30? It took four. I'm gonna cross out four of these ones that I know I've already jumped by. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump by these three tens. Now that I'm at 30, that's easy to think about. 30, 40, 50, 60. I'm now at 60, and what do I have left? I have these three ones left. I can make a jump of three more, and I know I'm at 63. We often label our jumps to remember where we've gone because as we get into subtraction that becomes even more important. One final thought about this may be we don't have to start with 26. We know that with addition we can start with either number and add on. So if I prefer to start at 37 I could also do that and then in reverse think of the place value of 26 thinking of how many ones can I use to get to a friendly number 37, 38, 39, 40, three jumps. Do my two 10 jumps, 50, 60. How many of those ones did I use? I used three, I have three more jumps, plus three, or I could count out one, two, three. I'm now at 63. Three ways of adding on the number line.